Hello. Hello. This is Ali. Is that the right way to say it? Alejandra. Ale. Alejandra. You know what? I was so blessed to meet this lady because I remember on my way here I thought, yeah, yeah, sightseeing's great, but the thing I really want is to meet either a shaman or someone in the arts that has a different perspective to astrology to me. And when I met you, I thought, fantastic. You're going to be able to maybe just give me an insight into the difference between the Western astrology, the Vedic astrology, and you're doing Mayan I do Mayan astrology. astrology. And you know, everyone's fascinated by this, uh, this Mayan calendar and the fact that it's the end of the world <laughs> after 2013. Is it? Or 2012? 2012. December solstice 2012. So what does it mean? Well, the whole December solstice 2012, uh, people have been figuring it out for a while, what it means. Yep. And lots of different people have different ideas on what it is. And basically it's the end of a cycle that just now I'm, I've been researching this new book that came my way. and. Yep somebody has found that it might have to do with the Milky Way, the dark rift in the Milky Way oh. aligns. There's an alignment in the dark rift on the Milky Way, which only comes about any every 25,000 and yeah, somewhat right. years. And so there's the end date on December solstice 2012 that points at this alignment with the dark rift of the galaxy. and. Mayans and many Mesoamerican cultures believed that we were born out of the Milky Way, that it's like the birth canal of our, our galaxy where we came from. Right. And it's what tracks human consciousness evolution. And so on December solstice 2012, we are meant to initiate a new phase of evolutionary growth for humanity and uh, our consciousness, which is basically what the Tolkien tracks, the Mayan calendar that I use for doing the astrology. It tracks the evolution of consciousness through time. And it is a tracking that comes from the energy of the sun. So every day that the sun rises, it has a new energy. And in total, it has 260 energies that come to us from the sun. So on the day that you were born, you are given a sign depending on what the sun's energy was right. that day. And it is a calendar that is not really based on times or places where you were born. It's not really ruled by the planets, but it is made up of um, awareness. It is the synchronicity between two numbers. 13 and 20. Yeah, you were speaking about this, and I understood the 13 as being the 13 lunar weeks, mm -hmm. uh, th lunar months, yeah. sorry. And 20, you said, had to do with the human body, or what I liken to the cosmic man. Yeah, the 20 are the 20 fingers and toes of our body. Because the Mayans have a 20 counting system or something, don't they? Yeah, they count to 20. And, um, and then the 13 are the moons in one year, but also they are the articulations, the major articulations of the body. So oh, okay. the 13 and 20 is like the movement and um, expression of human. And the 260 day calendar is every possible combination of 13 times 20. Oh, okay. And the 260 is very close to the nine months of gestation in the womb oh, of a okay. baby. So 260 tracks the growth of human. And um, all the signs tell the story of how from the void was born the first mother, and then the first mother gave birth to the father, and which was the wind, and then that gave birth to... The different elements. Uh, yeah, and they, it's just like the whole story of creation. And then once it gets to energy evolving up to the stage of human, then it's the evolution of human through the mind, becoming um, aware of oneself, becoming in tune with the heart, becoming a shaman, becoming right. uh, with perspective, turning into a warrior, until you get into the stage of um, universal consciousness and, and, uh -huh, and love, which is like Buddha consciousness or Christ consciousness. So listen, is there a place for planets in the Mayan astrology? That's something that, you know, it seems to be very solar based with all these different energetics. 
and it sounds very sophisticated in itself, but do you study the planets at all or? No. Not at all. So no. where Mars or Saturn is? Or? No, it's uh, fully energetic. It's a uh, synchronicity and a frequency. So it is um, like if you have uh, FM of the radio or right. AM, it's like a frequency that exists and it's made of a ratio and the ratio is 20, 13. And, um, is that the channel? <laughs> yeah, it's like the channel and you can tune into it, but it's there, it's a constant, it's always existing, except that depending on how you focus on that frequency, like if you're following the 1320 um, frequency Cycles, of the Mayan yeah. calendar, uh -huh, which is years of 260 days, which are sacred years, they don't track the sun, then, but it's the also a cycle of uh, Venus. Right. Um, it, okay, um, so there is a cycle of Venus. Yeah, it's in there, but it's not based, and you don't look at Venus where it is or anything when you're doing the astrology. You know what that could be? I believe, to, for example, and I think it's been proven, that the cycle of Jupiter gives rise to the sunspot activity. Every 12 years there are peaks in the solar storms. So you could look at the sun without looking at Jupiter and still experience the effects of Jupiter through the Sun. Does that make mm. sense? Likewise, Venus may also be having some effects on the Sun, according to the minds, and so through those frequencies of the subtle changes in the solar energies, right? That could also be... Am I right or am I off the track here? I'm not really sure, because since that's not what it, it is done with the calendar, it's like, it's very abstract, but so practical in its applications. Wow. Um, say there's two calendars there's a bit more like versions but two main token tendencies that one is called the dream spell calendar which is based on the channeled information by Jose Arguelles who is this American man who felt very called to come to the temples and research and started downloading all this information that is now spread out all over the world and he has taken the chore of letting the planet know that the Mayan calendar exists and then there's a traditional Mayan calendar which is the one that is used in Guatemala and throughout Mexico in places that are traditionally Mayan and it's taken care of by the shamans and the day keepers and it is very much, um, it was very, very hermetic until a few years ago that it started coming out for a long, long time. Anthropologists and archaeologists re research and go ask the shamans about the calendar and they were very reluctant to share because it was a very sacred sure. knowledge that they would pass on to the initiates and it was very, protected. very protected. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so what happened to me is that first I started learning through the dream spell calendar which is the one that everybody knows and then I didn't know that there was another calendar and I came to Mexico and this man told me that I was doing the wrong calendar oh, really? that there was another one that was right and that was the traditional did but, you find that that worked more accurately well the thing is that when he tried to tell me my other Mayan sign based on the traditional calendar he did so with such anger because he had a problem with the division of the two calendars. And so I rejected his whole proposition. Because of his mood? Uh -huh, because of his mood. And so I um, left, I didn't see him ever again, and six months later I had a dream in which a spider and a lizard came and they taught me things about the interconnection of human relationships. Sounds about, very shamanic. Uh -huh, very recapitulating. There was a shaman in my dream who was half black and half white and had a seed in his hand who was half black and has wha half white and all of this symbolism I was very impressed with when I woke up. And So you believe that maybe you should pursue this more? Um, well I just thought it had to do with the fact that I was doing Taoist sexual energy cultivating techniques and that I was doing Toltec recapitulation and then two weeks later a friend of mine gave me a book about the traditional Mayan calendar and I found out what my sign was and the first paragraph I read talked all about the spider and the lizard oh and how God. I was a seed and I was the unification of polarities because I'm a seed